Hi everyone, I had the quick question around how to do calculated values since the calculated value is no longer in the new responsive forms designer. So what we're going to do is look at how you can do calculations in the new responsive designer in a few different ways. Now before we get into that, I just want to explain uh, why we don't have the calculated value control um, in the product anymore. And that's because we had three different controls all doing very, very similar things. We had the calculated value control, we had a label control, and the rich text control and they're all really kind of the same thing and we're maintaining three controls that we're really doing the same purpose so our thinking at the moment is just to reuse the label control for many of those different functions now before we jump into how to display a calculation label control let's just look at a scenario that someone was come up with so they've said um, they're doing a salary review so um, let's put a label on there and actually tell them uh, it's a salary review um, yeah, seller review. Um, and what you see here is this insert tab here. So then we can start putting in variables, controls, and those sort of things as well. We'll come to that later. So I'll give that a bit of a big heading. Okay, so we've got the present salary, proposed salary, the effective date, the percentage increase, and the total difference. So what we want to do is figure out, um, first we want to do uh, the percentage increase. So let's say uh, that is the proposed salary divided by the present salary times by 100 and minus 100 to get just the 40% difference or whatever it might be. So what we can do here is we go to, uh, we go to the rules builder and we'll say an input rule. So we'd say um, calculate the percentage difference. Okay, so we'll say if the present salary is filled and the uh, proposed salary is filled, then we won't actually do something. And that would be um, set the percentage increase value to um, some sort of calculation. So then I can do is create a variable. Um, so that might be um, calculate, uh, let's go var, uh, var calculate uh, percentage. So as I was saying before, we say, um, Proposed, so I can go proposed salary uh, divided by. Um, I've forgotten the name of the control, so I have to go to forms, uh, present salary. There we go, so I'll get rid of that one and insert that. And then what we want to do is times that by 100. So I'll put a bracket around it and times by 100. And then we have to divide by uh, minus 100. And then we have to convert that to a string because this is really just going to be a percentage with a symbol. So again, the output's going to be text rather than a number. So then we need to say, well, once I've done my calculation, I have to convert to string, um, close that bracket. And I've done something wrong here. What's it saying? Uh, it's not closed. So the parentheses is not closed. I've got this one here and that one there, um, the expected output. Okay, let's, um, let's format this a little bit better and say, okay, so I've got this there. And this one closes here. Let's go back, put this one over here. Okay, so now what's happening here? Uh, minus 100 and convert to string. Now, what else do I need to do? I need to times 100, whoops, I forgot the, the uh, times 100 and then minus 100. And then what we'll also do is we'll put a plus uh, percentage symbol at the end. So hopefully, this should actually work. So now we've got our calculation. So it's the proposed salary divided by the present salary times 100 to get that overall percentage. But then we minus minus 100 so we can just get that um, that difference. So rather than saying, let's say 125%, we just say 25%. So then we can go and create and insert that variable into that rule. Then we have, if these are not filled, then we can go and clear out that field because someone might say they might change the salary the pr proposed or present salary. So we actually want to clear this value as well. So then we're going to say uh, percentage increase value is empty. Okay, we'll go and create that rule and let's go and check out and see what happens. So let's say I'm earning uh, $50 and my salary is going up to $750, lucky me. Um, and there we go. So I've got a 50% increase in my salary. Now, what we want to do here is actually calculate the difference of that salary. So what we would do is come back to rules again and we can actually use this existing rule because we can have an end condition in here. We can say, uh, what is it? The um, total difference value and we can say insert. So we'll say create a new variable and this actually will be a decimal now. And what you'll notice is since I'm inserting, uh, let's go back here for a sec. It actually knows where I'm coming from. It knows that it's a, a decimal field because it's a currency 
and it automatically says well you're going to create a decimal currency and when you're going to insert there so let's say we're calculating the um, uh, calculate um, difference okay so then we have to say um, what is it proposed proposed salary minus um, present salary okay so I think that's pretty much all we really need to do for that calculation. So it's pretty straightforward. So we're going to insert that, update the rule. Let's go to preview and see what happens. So now I'm on my $75, uh, $750 a year. Fantastic. And I'm going to go up to $800 a year. Not sure where I'd be working to get that, but anyway. So now we can see a percentage increase of 6.6. .6. Let's make that a little bit easier so it's easier to understand. Let's go $1,000, give myself a $1,000 pay rise. And there we go, so a 10% increase. And so now we see it's actually a hundred dollars increase. So that's that's pretty good. Now the last question I got from this this person around, well, how do I then actually say, look, if I'm going to give myself a uh, a large increase, or if someone's going to give me a large increase over 50%, that's too high. We actually need to give them a warning. So there's a couple of options here. The first one would be uh, we can create a on submit validation rule. So we say um, over um, increase limit. Uh, limit. Okay, so we say if the uh, percentage increase um, is filled, um, um, percentage increase uh, is, sorry, not the percentage increase, is it the percentage increase? I've gone blank. Let's have a look again. So percentage increase, increase yes, we need to check if it's greater than something but it's a string so what we then need to do um, is actually make a variable so let's go to um, rules and can we compare a variable in here so if and so we need to say um, what we'll do is grab the text one here gonna, oops let's get rid of that one uh, let's go insert and let's edit this one we want need, we need something very very similar we actually need uh, we actually need this function here and we want it to be a number so we're going to say uh, var, oops, uh, var, what have I forgotten to copy? Oops, so we've got form dot propose salary, and we're going to say var um, num uh, percentage increase. Okay, so we're going to make this as a decimal, and what have we got here? We've got a bracket missing, so I could fix that issue so now we've got um, we've got a we've got a figure we've got a number so we're going to create and insert that now if it's greater than let's say what's your increase um, 10 then we've got an issue on our hands we're going to say well the um, percentage increase uh, show validation error um, salary salary increase uh, must be lower than uh, 10 percent or something like that it's greater than yeah okay let's see how that goes um, show warning if salary increase is over 10 percent all right so now we're back to preview and I put in my salary of a thousand dollars and I'm saying I'm gonna give me give myself a hundred dollars increase and we're gonna do that uh, we're gonna do that uh, today so it's giving me a 10 percent increase and I'm getting a hundred dollars brilliant now we decided well actually I'm feeling um, Generous, I'm going to give myself a 20% increase. I press the submit button and it's going to actually say, well, hang on a sec, the salary increase must be lower than 10%. So that's going to give me a warning. Now, the other option you could have potentially is also coming back to the designer, you could say, I'm going to put a label under here and you might say, um, salary increase must uh, be lower than 10% or something like that. And you might say go and speak to HR or something like that. So, and then what we can do is visibility is no. So we're not going to show that by default. So let's get rid of our other rule and delete that one. So it depends on when you want that to execute. We can say um, create a new rule. Actually, we we'll go a new rule. Um, if and we can insert the uh, the number one. So we insert that one. And so if it's uh, greater than or equals to oh, actually just greater than. So it's, but allow them to get to 10%, uh, then the label uh, visible is true. Otherwise, the label to visible is false or something like that. You could do that as well. But the problem is someone could probably f uh, fill that form, but this is another option, uh, show label. Let's give that a better name as well so we know what it is. Um, so we'll say that's the um, seller increase warning. 
So I guess this is something you could do as well. So if you said, I'm going to give myself $1,000 today, uh, $1,500 tomorrow. Uh, oops, that's a massive bonus. Uh, let's get rid of one zero. And so we've got a 50% increase. Now that, that message shows, and then I say, okay, we'll actually make it 11 and the message disappears. So a couple of different options, but I would actually urge, uh, err, on, err on the side of doing that rule, which says, um, don't actually let them submit uh, like we did before. Um, stop the submit if the value um, increase is over 10%. And so we said, let's put, as before, we insert a variable and we put that in there. We say if it's greater than 10, then uh, um, increase must be below 10 percent so then that actually stops them from submitting the form whereas the previous one if I said so it's a thousand dollars today uh, twelve hundred dollars tomorrow oops that's a bit too much uh, and it comes in at 20 percent and that's not going to stop me from submitting whereas if I click this it's going to actually say hey you cannot submit this so that's one of the options you've got uh, you could also make this as just a number field and then you could say go to the designer and you can have a number field here so where's the number control gone can't find it I'll search for it so I go number and we can drag that on there and we can also say um, range validation so we could say that's the minimum is um, 1 and the maximum is 10 so you could do some validation in there however this um, so we couldn't do it on this because this was actually showing a percentage symbol so it's a string but you could do something in there as well so a few options there hopefully that's helpful and, and gives you an idea of some of the options you've got around uh, calculations and uh, calculated values cheers